Hi guys, this is the ice cream sandwich update for the HTC Velocity 4G. The over the air update came down this afternoon. I just wanted to run through a few of the new features uh, for people that are looking to upgrade to this. Um, as you can see here, this is the, um, the HTC home screen. Uh, their clock, um, the, their style launcher icons, a bit different from um, stock ice cream sandwich. Um, all these icons down here are customizable. To, um, to application shortcuts. We have the new folder system here, um, which is also a part of Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, I didn't used to use the um, HTC Sense launcher, but now with Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, this launcher is super smooth. Uh, no more lagginess, uh, which we had with 3.5. Um, home screen transitions are just really, really buttery smooth. Um, still got the standard HTC clock and all that sort of stuff there. Um, I'll go into the app screen. This still uses um, HTC Sense style app screen rather than the um, ice cream sandwich sideways flicking one. Um, this is still divided into sections that snap to each section. I don't like that. I prefer it when it smoothly scrolls all as one but uh, each their own on that. Uh, still all apps frequent and downloaded. Um, there, um, you can go. I'll go into uh, settings so you can see what's happening in here. So as you can see, the settings are now using uh, the new um, ice cream sandwich style layout um, with your Wi-Fi um, toggles. Um, the new usage monitor is in here as well, which you can split into mobile and Wi-Fi and you can set your data limit, so I'm on Telstra's 1.5 gig plan set my warning at 1.2 now obviously this one because um, I've only updated now, it's only just started counting it but my uh, data resets on the 25th of each month so you can set that um, and it will show you your cycle and also how much data you've used over Wi-Fi um, and all the apps that have used that have used data um, this is, I've only taken a short trip out outside this afternoon so that um, you can see there a little spike in in data usage um, other settings look fairly similar to the gingerbread um, setup uh, we have the new develop option here now as well which gives you USB debugging uh, stay awake and all that sort of stuff the all important force GPU rendering that option is there um, also some transi uh, transition and windows animation um, scales, I believe this speeds it up. Um, I've set those to 1.5, but I haven't noticed any actual difference. Um, the whole thing seems pretty smooth anyway. So, um, one thing different that is probably more a um, a Telstra thing is now if I turn Wi-Fi off, you'll see it actually has H for HSDPA. Uh, previously it just showed 3G all the time. That will drop back to 3G in a slower area, but where I am now it actually shows that it's on HSDPA uh, which is a welcome addition uh, some people there was a lot of people in forums trying to get that to turn on um, multitasking the full ice cream sandwich multitasking is available um, some people were worried that they were going to stick with the sense row of icon multitasking but it is definitely proper ice cream sandwich swipe away to close or remove from the list however that there's some debate as to how that works. Um, and of course, one of the best things about going to Ice Cream Sandwich, we now get access to Chrome. So there's Chrome for Android. A windowed interfaces. Uh, as a lot of people have said in reviews, um, within about five minutes of me using this, this replaced my the standard browser. Um, it's just it's just so much better to use um, scrolling around is smoother the whole experience is just far smoother um, I don't know whether that's Chrome or whether it's the ice cream sandwich update but um, double tap to zoom in works properly now that was one of my biggest bugbears on the on the original Android browser um, but yeah much better so yeah guys um, I haven't hit any bugs with um, updating everything seemed to run quite smoothly um, the update took about half an hour 
uh, to download, that's on an 8 megabit ADSL connection um, over Wi-Fi, and update. Um, I have seen some people have had troubles updating the devices that have been rooted or with custom ROMs. Uh, I can't help with that, sorry, I've always run the factory ROMs. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's a look at uh, Ice Cream Sandwich on the Velocity 4G. And I will prove that we definitely are running Android 4.03, HTC Sense 3.6. There we go.